Hello and welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday of the fifth week of Easter. And uh, our readings this morning at, at Mass, uh, first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, a very interesting uh, uh, note on that reading. Uh, we see that Paul and Barnabas are uh, off preaching and teaching and then uh, some other uh, teachers, if you will, from Jerusalem, Judea, came into the region and were also preaching, but they were letting the Gentiles know that in order for them to attain salvation and join the Christian ranks, they would need to be circumcised like the Jews. Well, what Paul and Barnabas did was not um, get into a discussion with the, the guys that were there, recognizing that this was a matter that needed to be discussed with the whole church, decided to return to the apostles, to Peter and the other apostles, and discuss the matter uh, as a whole church. Uh, beautiful thing to think about that even at the very early moments of the church uh, it was recognized that there was a magisterium and a a place for proper teaching uh, and getting you know one unified resolution to an issue and uh, so the uh, the hierarchy of the church and the the role of the Holy Father and the bishops and the cardinals and the priests and every every part of the teaching body of the church from the very beginning recognized unity and oneness. And so rather than rather than make come to their own conclusion or make their own decision they sought counsel where they could have you know a spirit led uh holy spirit led uh resolution to the issue so that's that's the beautiful uh, uh component i wanted to sort of bring out from that first reading today in our gospel, beautiful gospel as always, but Jesus uh, says that uh, I am the vine and my father is uh, the vine grower. And he talks about how we need to be attached to the vine firmly, you know, and uh, he also talked about pruning, where he even mentioned that his father prunes uh, the branches from him that aren't bearing fruit so that he can bear more fruit. So the the idea of being connected vine and branches and not being separated is, is a very important part of this gospel, realizing that we always have to stay connected to God, you know, not be separated from him. But also the other side of that is... Uh, you know, as we go through life, um, we need pruning sometimes, just like you know, any of us that, that have yards and gardens with trees and bushes uh, know that uh, in order for our roses and our other plants to, to become, you know, fruitful, uh, pruning is required. And, even, and that's true with us as well. Sometimes we have to lop off, if you will, things in our lives that are not fruitful, things in our lives that could damage the whole plant and, you know, our whole selves and, and you know, separate us from, from God. So we, we prune things off like selfishness, greed, anger, envy, anything that isn't godly we need to and you know despite the pains that pruning could cause we need to rid ourselves of 
of negativity in our lives to keep us uh, fruitful and adherent to the laws of God. So I am the vine and you are the branches. You know, and we, we have to maintain that connection, but we also have to make sure that we prune off anything that might disease the whole plant. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With his right hand, God has raised him up as King and Savior. Alleluia. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With his right hand, God has raised him up as King and Savior. Alleluia. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you protect and strengthen those who hope in you. You heard the cry of your Son, and kept him safe in your tent in the day of evil. Grant that your servants, who seek your face in time of trouble, may see your goodness in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. From him, through him, and in him, all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him, he is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace 
through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From him, through him, and in him, all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, Alleluia. If you live in me, and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the empty he has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you live in me and my words live in you, all you ask, all you ask for will be yours. Hallelujah. Christ rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Let us pray to him, saying, Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Lord, remember all who minister in your service. May their holy lives be an example to your people. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Give to those who govern us the spirit of justice and peace, so that the human family may live in harmony. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Guide our days in the way of salvation, and fill the earth with your plenty for the sake of the needy. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Christ our Savior, light of the world, you have called creation from death to life. May your light shine forever on our departed brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father of all holiness, guide our hearts to you. Keep the light of your truth. Keep in the light of your truth, all those you have freed from the darkness of unbelief. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns 
with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.